So guys, a wonderful good evening from Antalya um, for, to the second part of my Turkish Airlines A350 review today in economy class. And I'm in Antalya, but literally every flight here is bound for Russia. So you could technically think I'm at a domestic airport in Russia, Novosibirsk, Kazan. Here we have Kiev, well, not Russia yet. Next one is uh, Samara, followed by Shermetyevo, which is Moscow. And another flight to Moscow. So they're all either operated by Royal, Royal Flights, Aeroflot, and Nordwind. I mean, just to give you a proof, it really is Antalya. I am in Turkey. So next one is Vnukovo, which is also Moscow. There's literally no flight elsewhere. So in the last one we have is Ural Airlines to St. Petersburg, and this is literally it. So this is the international terminal, and now I am entering the domestic terminal, where you can only fly to Istanbul at the moment. So the conclusion is Antalya seems to be a very popular tourist destination for Russians. I just checked in 41A right in the back uh, and I got to point out the flight was also super cheap like 20 25 US dollars um, it's an hour flight but yeah excited to finally feature the uh, economy class of the 350 after two days ago I did the business class so let's see what to expect in the back Antalya airport is pretty much alive lots of passengers here Lots of people, a lot of weird looks, <laughs> but yeah, one hour to boarding. That's definitely something you never get used to. It doesn't matter how long you're on the business, when people look at you, strangely, for talking into a camera. If I would need to give you a list with the countries that are easiest to vlog, it would definitely be Asia. Asia is always bliss, because it's a generation that grew up with cameras, they don't mind. Um, Europe is the worst, especially Germany, where they're like super worried about privacy and they believe once your photo ends up on the internet, somebody's gonna jerk off to it. Um, like literally, that's the concern they have. Well, in Turkey, I don't think they kind of get the concept of vlogging, but uh, yeah, Africa is also like easy. So here we are, welcome on board the new Airbus A350 in economy class. And my first impression is just wow. This, look at the finishing, it's all leather. Look at the design, look at the colors. Um, look at the screen, like it's an extra wide HD screen. Um, it comes with a foldable table and it's like everything is just like brand new. It has such an amazing impression. It looks like quality, it looks like they have spent quite some money on their economy class. I like it, like it, it comes um, across as an even stronger, even better business class than most carrier, much better to what they offer on the Dreamliner. And this is a quality product. Look at the sheer size of those screens. This is like some, some airlines feature this in business class. Look at this, the seat pitch is quite all right. Let's see what the recline situation is like. That is, that is beautiful, look at this. Yeah, I mean, this is a proper upgrade to what they've already offered um, in, in economy class, and I love it. I love the colors, I love the design. And here you also have those headrests where you can like turn in the flaps uh, for like a much more comfortable um, sleeping experience. Yeah, Turkish Airlines, gotta salute you, uh, congratulate you. This is um, a beautiful, wonderful product. Okay. 
So I was looking for power outlets. So it features USB, it features the new generation uh, USB. It literally has everything, but what I can't seem to find are power outlets because on the 777 they do have them right under the seat, but not here. Very much impressed, and also like another feature is when you go to the flight map right here, uh, you can check out the live camera. So this is the tail. So you have a beautiful tail camera right here, and then you have a downward camera uh, where you literally see, yeah, you see uh, the tarmac, and then there is a tail camera where you can see those two dudes having an argument. That's the external power unit. So whenever the plane is on the ground, it gets. Uh, uh, like power supply from right here and this is an announcement probably saying that boarding is completed and i have a whole road to myself but yeah i also want to point out that the, the padding of the seat is extremely comfortable it feels really nice around the lower back foldable table still so clean everything is just so new no germs, nothing. If you know I would only serve food and not try to be cheap, I would celebrate you. So unlike my flight two days ago, I've been told to change my mask. So now I have to put or use the medical mask instead of my own mask. So yeah, apparently there is no consistency on what you can what you can do and what you can't do but now i'm gonna wear the medical mask i mean i was never briefed like up on check-in or anywhere or boarding or even on the last flight that you can't wear your own mask so apparently you have to wear the medical mask i have no issue with it you know but like just like super aggressive about it you gotta wear this mask what the heck this is what i mean like sometimes in turkish airlines but sometimes they behave like complete hooligans. So and some more double standards you want during boarding. The crew was so hooligan, so aggressive, so anal about um, people not changing the seats and you shouldn't be sitting anywhere else uh, than the seats they've been assigned to. And now like uh, 20 minutes into the flight, 25 minutes into the flight, they don't care at all anymore. Like people roaming around, people like lying down on free seats. So it's such double standards. Also I posted, I posted on Instagram, this post about the uh, the business class flight two days ago where I said uh, it's not an airline I recommend to fly during the pandemic because there's literally no onboard experience there's no food the, the lounge is a, a, a awful and then they replied actually saying oh the health of our staff and our passengers is the number one priority and now have a look all the corona rules they had in place They've just thrown them overboard 20 minutes into the flight. So as you were able to see, they had an argument with like, there's a plenty of people who um, changed seats after takeoff and they had an argument and like the crew is not even like able to enforce this to send sent her back so they just had a chat for a few minutes and then they just gave up and this is like it is oh like health is our uttermost priority bullshit like if the crew isn't even able to enforce all those rules that they put in place why do you have them in the first place uh, uh, at all doesn't make sense to me so in this set this is what you get on the flight uh, a tiny bottle of water. Better than nothing, but yeah. So, and this is the loo here. 
in the back of the 350 obviously still clean this uh, plane comes fresh out of the factory with a massive mirror massive not the most spacious so I always prefer the lavatories on the 777 in the back they're massive um, but look also here we have amenities um, a bottle of cologne with green tea intense and some hand lotion here some air conditioning as well looks lovely good review passed So welcome to Istanbul. I'm on the ground just waiting for my luggage. Um, hands down, the 350 economy class, amazing. Five star product. I love the big screen. I love the seat. Um, really well done. I congratulate you, Turkish Airline. That is beautiful. The hard product is outstanding. The soft product, and what I've noticed over the year is Turkish Airline is an airline in absolute decline. A crew absolutely incapable of enforcing rules which Turkish Airlines claim so hard that we have to make those sacrifices to protect us there's no food to protect us from the virus and you put all those rules in place and then your crew doesn't even enforce them as a passenger me as a customer I feel fooled I feel like uh, that this is a big joke and this is just the decline the airline takes over the months and months which I've been observing um, and that is just a shame and Turkish Airlines, what is this all about? I would love to hear an explanation why. All those rules, no enforcement, it's just a, it's just a joke. And it is, uh, it is not what the airline used to be. That's my point of view, um, that's debatable, but I'd like to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm glad that you've been part of this journey and that you watched all the way to the end, hopefully. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. Leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, check out my Patreon page for some extra perks. Guys, where are you off to? Have a safe trip.